a new era of athletes has begun. What is going on guys? It's your boy Jacob Kirk back here with another YouTube video. So in today's video, a little bit of a different video, I'm going to be explaining to y'all why I train the way I train and show y'all this crazy new explosive drill. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I'm just going to give y'all a quick rundown real quick of athletic bodybuilding why I do it and why I feel like it's better than actual bodybuilding so let's get into it alright so here's some side effects to athletic bodybuilding you're gonna be way more athletic than all your friends for an example if you were to do kickboxing you would be too big for the small guys and you'd be too fast for the big guys another side effect is you're gonna get all the stares from the women it's been scientifically proven that women like guys that are more athletic slash aesthetic than traditional bodybuilders. I think the lean slash athletic look on a man is way sexier than the bodybuilder type. You're also gonna get a lot of stares in the gym because not a lot of people train for athletic slash aesthetic bodybuilding. Cause what people deem in the gym as athletic is people like Chris Bumstead, which don't get me wrong, he's great, but he's not aesthetic or athletic in real life, he would be considered excessive. So I bet you're wondering like, what is your definition of athletic bodybuilding? Well, it is training like a bodybuilder to look like an athlete. Now the difference between athletic bodybuilding and bodybuilding is in athletic bodybuilding, you build functional muscle. This muscle is what helps you in real life activity because when bodybuilders build muscle, it affects their stamina, mobility, and health. I mean, what's the point of going to the gym if it affects your health? Now, of course, when you see my physique compared to actual bodybuilders, I look small. But in actuality, compared to everyone else that doesn't go to the gym, I actually look pretty big. But in order to build it, we need to be using certain bodybuilding principles, such as training focus and training split. Now, with an athlete, your obviously main focus for exercise is your sport, but for athletic bodybuilding, your main focus is the gym. So this is where you use bodybuilding to become an athlete. And the split that I use is push-pull legs, and you hit this twice a week. Now this is what an athlete actually doesn't do. Now if you're a beginner, you're obviously going to want to hit each muscle group one time a week. And then after two or three months in, you should bump it up two to three times a week. Now you never want to hit a muscle group three times a week unless it is a very weak muscle because this will increase the likelihood of injury and you can overwork the muscle so it will not grow. If y'all haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell because we upload Tuesdays and Saturdays, baby. Let's get it. All right, guys, just made it here to the gym. I am probably gonna end up doing a voiceover for this workout. We're gonna be working on an explosive movement today. I'm gonna teach y'all how to do it. And yeah, it's gonna be a leg dominant with some shoulders mixed in because my split is push, pull, legs, and shoulders. All right, guys, so starting off, we're gonna be doing this back squat movement, but as you'll see, there is two elastic bands on each side. I stole this movement from Tyreek Hill. If y'all don't know who he is, he is a wide receiver in the NFL. And the video was about him getting faster. So if y'all haven't tried this, athletes, I do recommend this. So I'm doing shoulder shrugs with dumbbells instead of a barbell because I just feel like that if you do it with a barbell, you can grow one trap stronger than the other. And also, I do feel it more in each trap 
if I'm doing it with dumbbells instead of a barbell. So just do whatever feels the best for you. For the tire flips, I'm pretty sure every athlete that's ever played a sport has done tire flips. It's just really good for getting the hips involved nice and loose and just activating the hips and strengthening them. So every once in a while I like to throw these in. It brings me back to the old days. So. I solemnly swear, from this moment forward, that I will never lose again! I will never, never be defeated! Alright guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions about athletic bodybuilding, regular bodybuilding, or anything at all, feel free to ask. I will probably answer it. With all that being said, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, y'all have a blessed one. Peace.